Hi guys, um, I thought it would be worthwhile to show you guys what goes into preparing an event. So I'm in the UK now, there's no glitz, there's no glam, there's no sun. I'm uploading my last video, so that's the one you probably, you guys have probably already watched. And now I'm on Eventbrite, I'm trying to finish the type form for the applications. The venue that we were meant to have fell through, so now I'm trying to make sure we get another venue. We should have started promoting like three days ago, but that hasn't happened, so I'm just going to keep you up to date with everything that's going on. And by the time you watch this, okay, it'll be a few days till the event, and then it'll be like a week until I'm going back to Ghana. I already miss Ghana, but... Obviously, you know, I'm happy to be back because I'm with some very dear people to me. I'm not going to put you in the vlog so you can calm down. <laughs> but, um, yeah. See you on the flip side. Hello, YouTube. So, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to spend so much time with mummy. So I followed my mum for her Saturday things. And I was also her chauffeur. So, um, I'm going to have to stop recording now because I'm about to walk past some uncles and it's all good. Okay, I'm back again. I've walked past the uncle. Um, yeah, so I decided to follow her around. I really wonder how the lighting's gonna look because, like, obviously in Ghana, I had mad natural lighting. Now, all I have is doom and gloom and clouds and sadness. So, yeah, um, I followed her to do the things that she was doing on Saturday, and I think it's just it's really nice to see how um, in the UK, like Ghanaians in the UK, try so hard to like keep up with their culture and still do things that are within their culture. So yeah, that's me for the day. Now I'm driving back to Ends to start working on this event. I'm also gonna get my mum to be like. I'm gonna ask her if she wants if she doesn't mind being on camera because my parents are so cute like they actually watched my youtube videos and my dad was even quoting me he was like oh yeah like when you said Ghana man time and i was like dad stop you watched it and he's like yeah he was like i even like thought we were facetiming each other and then i realized that it wasn't a video call so i decided to call you and i was like you're weird but yeah we'll see if you guys can see my mum let me know if I look like her because I personally think I look like her. A lot of people tell me I look like her, but if you tell her that I look like her, she's literally like, I'm not even sure she's my actual child. So the dynamics are quite interesting. <laughs> oh, so the lighting is quite bad, but this is my mum. So as you can see, we really resemble each other. What? Really? my dad making noise in the background but yes we really is resemble each other as you can see thanks guys thanks for your participation mum so fun when they paint no, like look. that what happened? i just want the world to see how much you look like me twins Come here. no i can't put myself in as well because i'm drying my hair yeah, oops <laughs> oops this is my big brother oh you can't the lighting in here is so bad. We need to get some more balls. We do. I had some at home. Hey, twin. Leba. Leba. Daddy. Happy Mother's Day from the UK. So in the UK, we celebrate Mother's Day like in line with Easter, Mothering Sunday. So I think in most countries, it's probably like in June or May. So yeah, I just left church. Such a beautiful service. So blessed by the word. Um, I was going to say something before as well. Oh yeah, so for Mother's Day, I'm taking my mum, well me and my sister are taking my mum and my auntie to go and watch um, Black Panther. And this is not the first time I've watched it, but if no one watches Black Panther once, that's just weird. So... We're going to the cinema and before i talk about the uk experience i'm just going to insert this clip here and this was me going to see black panther the day that it was released in ghana <laughs> Terrible experience. Like the actual film inside the cinema was like 
the actual film inside the cinema yes inside the cinema hall it was great it was such an amazing experience it was hilarious especially because like like there was just different different things and in ghana like it's real out loud audience participation but before we went in let me tell you as you can see from the clip the pushing the sweat all of it it was just a nightmare but i hope that it'll be a lot better today see ya um, I buy a large, I'm gonna buy a large salt popcorn. Nobody wants to eat salt popcorn. What's sweet? Because they're Oh, then you two can have salt and we'll eat sweet. Okay. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Nothing. No, it's for my video. So Michelle, how did you find Black Panther with your parents? It was really good. It was the second time I've seen it. Amazing. But I feel like watching it the second time was really good because I saw things that I Yeah, missed. you're actually talking too much. <laughs> this is actually... This not... is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. This is not days of your life. Rudeness. So basically... Oh. Hey. Children of today, no so respect basically, for their elders. Michelle says she had a glimpse of what it's like to go to the cinema in Ghana, sitting next to my mum and my auntie because of their love. <laughs> Live sound effects. <laughs> the one that in Ghana has happened as well when the um the panther turned tur tur turned into his dad, <laughs> and then my mom was like, eh. so yeah. I mean, oh, you Papa. You let's Janine said you when she went to the cinema in Ghana. Everyone was adding their like live commentary. <laughs> and she knew that like, the same. So this is my work office, as you can see, having the most productive. I'm just sitting here, yeah, waiting. Okay, your network is your net worth, blah, blah, blah. You know people, bam, I said I want to do an event. I want panelists, bam, two hours, panelists all confirmed, topic decided. Waiting to have my meeting with Jamama in a minute about um, the topics that we're doing. Venue, okay, do you know what? We've got the links, we're going to make it happen. Boom. Venue falls through. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Post is completed, okay. But yeah, so now, today's Monday. The event's meant to be next week, Tuesday. The event is next week, Tuesday. Do I have a venue confirmed? No. Therefore, can I advertise the event? Yes to hell I will. I've been waiting too long, so even if I confirm the event, confirm the venue Friday, like that's gonna, it has to be what it is because right now, like, um, people don't start buying their tickets anyways until very, very, very last minute. But right now, the latest I can start advertising is tonight, and then I need to finish this type form. So yeah, in my office, getting work done. Come on! <laughs> I just got the confirmation email this morning that SOAS is confirmed. And you know, yesterday we started advertising, like I said, I don't care, no one can hold me back. And then this morning, <sighs> guys, Papa Gode, Oluwa, oh my gosh. No, like. Yummy yo honey, like that's the beginning and the end of it all because you know when the email came, I was just like God and this nonsense Wi-Fi in my house was taking so long to load the email and then when it came up I was like oh my gosh and it's being so well received on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook. If you're not gonna be at the event, I, I don't even know what you're gonna be doing because we we's about to get into all the topics. We're about to get into representation, we're about to get into what people are doing in Africa, what millennials are doing on the continent. We're about to get into what it means to be black. Like, you better be there. Be there. So, this is, I wouldn't even call it time optimism. This is just pure laziness. Um, I'm going to an event. I've been ready for some time, actually, and been sitting on my bedroom floor scarf on jacket on like i'm literally fully ready to go i just can't be bothered to go 
but this is another behind the scenes of doing an event you're doing an event so you need to go to other people's events and be like oh yeah hey i'm doing an event next week it'd be really great if you could come like you have to chin wag a bit you know network this and that and it will really be a beneficial event for me to go to it's like something like the it's called the commonwealth africa forum i believe that's what it's called and um yeah i should head out like it definitely started at nine o'clock and it's actually 1 p.m right now i don't know why i think i can be doing such ghana man time here but um i heard they started a bit late yesterday and it's a whole day event anyway so i'm actually gonna leave my house because it's gonna be a great event to go to and i'm just gonna insert a few clips here of the nonsense i was doing to which led me to 1 p.m and even more nonsensical is the fact that i decided to record it instead of speeding along the getting ready process so please enjoy my montage yeah. hey, hey. she said do you love me i tell her only partly i only love my bed and my mom i'm sorry 50 dub i even got it tatted on me 81 they'll bring the crashes to the party Send me your location and focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Send me your location and put the vibration on it This is the first day I for real for real. Gonna say this is the first day I for real being out in London. First of all, I'm freezing cold, but apparently it's a warm day. And secondly, I was gonna show you the whole tube thing, but I'll show you on the way back. I'm sure you're all aware of what it looks like to go on the tube, but such is life. And what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, me, I'm such a fraud, you know. I always have my headphones in. I am never listening to anything, ever. But yeah, just, just like to seem a bit busy, you know? I, I think you, there's no one in this room that is unaware of the risk that we face as, as a world, not just a continent. I mean, we've all seen the, the, the efforts of both the developed and the developing world in addressing climate change. Thank you very much, and happy birthday. Okay, so I finally got out of bed, well no, like left my room and went to this event. Um, I could have just stayed at home to be honest. But to be fair, they always say as long as you make like one good connection, it's not the end of the world. And I did actually make a good connection today. So yeah, you know, I came all this way here to meet one person and it's not that bad. I met some people that I know as well, so probably gonna go and eat. Oh my gosh, I wonder if that man was just in the... I wonder. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, DJ Cuffy's book actually, that's her standing right over there. She actually had, she was on the creatives panel and she actually had some very insightful things to say about um, creativity. So the creative panel was good. Everything else wasn't as good. But yeah, I think they were just very, very pressed for time and it's just like everyone felt it. But that's enough about that. I'm just gonna go home basically. I'm just gonna go home. Yeah, but yeah, she's so cute. Look at her Ankara. 